Hello everyone, and welcome to Galaxy 89 Cars. Today, thanks to Zinger, I'm taking you on an in-depth exterior and interior tour of this 2020 Zinger 21C from its world debut event in London. All of Zinger's contact details can be found in the description of the video. As you can see, both road legal versions of 21C were present at the world debut, but I'll focus mainly on the white standard version in this video. Based in the USA, Zinger is named after the company's founder, Kevin Zinger. The 21C is Zinger's first production car, and will be limited to 80 vehicles that will be modelled by designers and machine learning algorithms for efficiency and economy. The car is based mainly on a revolutionary and lightweight 3D printed alloy chassis with 3D printed titanium and connecting carbon fibre struts and panels. The result of this innovation is a very low curb weight of only 1250kg. This enables 21C to have a near 1 to 1 power to weight ratio. It has been designed around the principle of form follows function putting the driver at the optimal fighter jet driving position, which also provides the inspiration for its name as it's equipped for the 21st century. The 21C produces over 250 kilograms of downforce in the standard spec, but the blue lightweight car can produce up to 790 kilograms of downforce. We will explore the differences later in the video. 21C is a hybrid hypercar with its dual power sources providing it with four wheel drive. The rear wheels are powered by a mid rear mounted 2.88 liter twin turbo V8 that can rev up to 11,000 RPM and produces 943 brake horsepower and 745 newton meters of torque. The front wheels each have their own torque vectoring enabled electric motor, each powered by a lightweight 1 kilowatt hour lithium titanate battery that's charged by a power generator in the rear. This specific battery was selected over lithium ion as it discharges faster, enabling faster acceleration, but also quicker recharging. The electric system combined with the combustion engine produces a total of 1233 brake horsepower. This total output produces a 0 to 62 mile per hour 100 km per hour time of 1.9 seconds and a predicted top speed of 268 miles per hour or 432 km per hour in the slow downforce variant. Before moving away from the engine, we can view the fuel input that can also accept zero carbon methanol biofuel. Moving to the wheels, this standard 21C comes with 19 inch front and 20 inch rear alloy wheels with angular interlacing design, but the lightweight car comes with a more simple multi-spoke wheel option. The car's braking is provided by six piston front and four piston rear carbon ceramic discs. These are fitted with a regenerative braking function to assist the rear power generator recharge the batteries. The car's stability is provided by double wishbones and uprights, 3D printed from lightweight alloys. These are attached to driver controlled hydraulically adjustable shock absorbers with active roll control and a vehicle lift system. There's also a Salisbury type limited slip differential at the rear to further enhance driving dynamics. Now we've finished a model overview, we can start the in-depth exterior tour from the front. This standard car starts at the bottom with a large but quite understated carbon splitter. This divides into three above. The central section allows air into a radiator for cooling. The side sections help more with front downforce and allow air to pass through undercar channels. In comparison, the road legal lightweight car comes with a distinct extended carbon front splitter that curves up at the sides with two canards above. The lightweight lights above are comprised of six daytime running LED strips that also perform the indicating function with the main LED beam array above. These are fitted into the large flowing front wheel arches that are molded for aerodynamics. Moving centrally, we come to the long tinted glass canopy. If we take a look under the front of it, we can see some of the 3D printed alloy components with their carbon fiber connecting rods. The canopy extends back from the windscreen and also forms the roof, helping to emulate the fighter jet experience. We can now move to 21C's lateral aspect. The side here starts with a slim carbon side skirt extension that helps to develop the car's aesthetic. Moving up, there's a large air vent that allows air to flow freely from the front wheel arches, reducing pressure and enhancing stability. The hinge for the door is integrated here, as we will see later in the video. The carbon stalks from the electrically adjustable wing mirrors project out from these grills, helping to reduce surface area. Moving down, the wide sills run back to the carbon surrounds around the main air intakes for the rear mid-mounted engine. Moving back up, we come to the aggressive hot air release vents for the engine. Behind, the long rear wing is integrated into the body panel. On the lightweight car, there's an additional fixed rear wing that reduces top speed but significantly increases rear downforce. Moving back to the standard car, there's an open section just after the vents to allow air to move more freely. This is complemented by further channels on either side that serve the same purpose. Now moving to the rear of 21C, we can get a better view of the substantial integrated rear wing and central and lateral passages we've just seen. The grilled area below is flowing and open to help the engine breathe. This exhaust design creates an X-pattern emission with X-shaped flames during and after hard acceleration. 
Flowing down from the sides and then under the exhaust is the distinctive long LED brake light strip. The lower portion of the rear is defined by the top line of the diffuser. The diffuser itself is comprised of large ducts on either side that extend quite far under the car to control airflow. Looking centrally, we come to the rear park assist camera. Now we've finished the exterior tour, we can move inside. Once unlocked, the dihedral doors easily rise up on their grille integrated hinges and hold position. Looking inside, we are greeted by a very individual and innovative interior configuration, here upholstered in black and cream leather and alcantara and gloss carbon fibre. We can now start the in-depth interior tour with the doors. The right door starts with the gloss carbon panel and a speaker. As we move along the top, we can visualise how long the doors really are. The cream section below starts with the leather passenger door release, then the driver release and chrome plaque. The lower part of the door is finished with an open storage area and a second door speaker. Now moving into the interior, we can start at the sill. As previously mentioned, the wide carbon sill houses the batteries and starts with the locking mechanism for the doors. As we move along, we come to the model and manufacturer insignia and then into the front of the cockpit. The squared off steering wheel is to the left. It's upholstered at the top and bottom in Alcantara and starts with a contrast 12 o'clock marker. As we move down on the left, we come to a carbon inlay with the display, horn, left indicator and wiper controls. Then driving mode, horn, light, vehicle lift and right indicator to the right with branding on aluminium below. Before we move to the screen ahead, we can look at the long gear shift paddles for the 7-speed sequential transaxial gearbox with multi-plate clutch. The screen ahead offers information for, from left to right, parking brake, basic trip, real-time revs, e-power and turbo boost, speeder with gear selected and drive modes below, and fuel, SOC, engine temperature, tyre pressures and fuel level below, and engine on-off button to the right. Looking up, we can get an interior view of the exposed 3D printed components and the forward visibility. The main setup and infotainment touchscreen is to the left. Here it displays the configuration screen for the lights, with fixed controls below for front de-mist, cabin temperature, seat movement, air recirculation, fan speed and air conditioning, but options for media and infotainment can also be accessed here, and the reversing camera. Continuing left, we come to the left side door. It's set up differently to the right door and starts with a long air vent at the top. Before moving out so we can get a better view of the seats, we can look up to view the small LED interior lights and lightweight carbon sun visor. 21C comes with inline seating and starts at the front with this electrically adjustable carbon fibre bucket seat that's finished in black and cream Alcantara. Standard seat belts are fitted in this car and fixed above, but harnesses will surely be available in the lightweight and track cars. The rear of the front seat starts with a large padded headrest that may also provide some crash protection for the passenger. There's a single grab to its outside shoulder and touchscreen below so the passenger can control the infotainment and climate. The rear seat behind is built into the carbon body but comes with a headrest and Alcantara padding for comfort. The passenger's legs are meant to go either side of the front seat, not directly ahead, which explains the small space between the seats. The final thing we can view before completing the tour is the large jet fighter style canopy above. So that concludes my in-depth exterior and interior tour of this 2020 Zinger 21C from its world debut in London. You can find all of Zinger's contact details in the description of the video. Please subscribe for the latest content and until next time, thanks for watching.